Hey guys, welcome back. So I've just got the new M1 MacBook Pro with the new M1 Pro processor and I thought about testing to see how it performs within After Effects. So yeah, before starting out, uh, you can see that I have the, the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip and the 16 gigabytes memory and also the 14 inch display. So let's see how it performs. Let's open up a project. All right, so this is this is a, a project about Squid Game title animation. So if you want to see a tutorial on this or a walkthrough video, I will be releasing the this one in a couple of days. So make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to receive a notification when I will post this. So let's go to preferences and then media in this cache and let's make sure the this cache is empty so you can see it's empty now let's press ok now let's maximize this panel right here and if i select all the layers and i press u you can see that we have some keyframes here and there there are quite a lot there aren't too many but there are quite a lot so we have here uh, only After Effects shapes and some adjustment layers, but nothing 3D or anything fancy. So yeah, these are all the, all the layers and keyframes. So let's go back and let's see how it performs. We have full resolution. By the way, the composition is full HD 1080 by 920. Let's press OK and let's press play to see how it performs. Yeah, so you can see here in the info panel, uh, we could see the frame rate, which is 12, uh, 12 FPS. So yeah, that was a real time playback. Let's play this again. Yeah, you can see here 12 FPS. All right, so this video went pretty smooth, no drop frames, everything went well. Uh, yeah, but as I said before, uh, no 3D layers or anything fancy, just After Effects shapes with keyframes for the position, rotation, path, mask, and so on. All right, now let's try with another video. So this is a project with my new intro for the one minute series tutorials. So this is a more complex video. Let's maximize this panel again. And this time you can see that we have a lot of 3D layers and compositions. We have here a composition and another one. And yeah, we have quite a few compositions and shapes and so on. So this is a more complex video. And again, let's see how it performs. Let's press play and also uh, again, let's make sure yeah we have 30 fps and full hd so we're going to take a look here in the info panel to see how many fps we have when you play this so let's play this <laughs> You can see that we have quite a few drop frames it doesn't really go too well so let's just stop it all right and maybe let's switch to half resolution let's press again play <laughs> Yeah, so you can see that it struggles a little bit. We can work with that, but yeah, as you can see, it, it really struggled there. But this is a more complex video. You can see that we have some radar blur. This is very hard to render. Uh, and also what we have here, let's see. Yeah, we have a camera with 3D properties. Yeah, let's see how many, how many keyframes we have here. Yeah, we have quite a few keyframes, 
but I think the problem was here within this adjustment layer with the blur so let's try to to disable this one and let's see how it works yeah so uh, if you paid attention you can you could see that we had uh, real time 30 fps so yeah as i said this radial blur was causing problems and let's now try to full resolution let's see yeah full resolution is not gonna do it but yeah we can work with half resolution and that's fine so what else do we have here text some shapes again some shapes shapes yeah so mostly shapes and some effects like this radar blur now let's try one more project with an actual video because so far we had only graphic elements okay so this time you have a 4k video so let's put it into a new composition and we have half the resolution let's see in the composition settings yeah we have 4k at 29 and 97 fps all right so let's press play with the half resolution and pay attention to this info panel to see how many fps we have so far so good real time okay so it stopped right here Okay, let's also try with full resolution. Nope, already got drop frames. Well, anyways, let's switch back to half resolution and let's try to create a new adjustment layer and let's add some, some effects here, maybe some lumetri color. Let's change some basic stuff. All right, let's see now how it goes. Yeah, we still have real-time FPS. And now we have drop frames. Yeah, so it's not perfect, but we can work with this. Now I'm going to render all these three projects I showed you before. So let's see how many time you're going to get out of this. So the renders are finished but I had some problems. I managed to render the first two videos but then Adobe Media Encoder crashed so I couldn't see the render time and I had to render the videos directly within After Effects. So the results are as follows. For the first video, the one in the Squid Game with no 3D layers, the render time was 8 seconds. For the second video, the one with the 3D layers, the render time was 5 seconds. And for the third video, the 4K drone shot, the render time was 4 minutes and 45 seconds. Now a couple of remarks here. After Effects is not yet optimized for Silicon Max, so it runs through Rosetta and maybe that's why we have so many bugs. Let's hope that they will optimize it as soon as possible. And if you want to buy a MacBook with the M1 Pro processor, I really recommend going for the for the 32GB RAM, even if you don't upgrade to the M1 Max processor, uh, this one, M1 Pro with the 32GB, uh, I think it's, it's really good. Yeah, so if you want me to, to test anything else, maybe within After Effects or Photoshop or Premiere Pro, just let me know in the comments and talk to you soon, bye!